Hello everyone. I want to share something with you. Before you get married, there are some things you should think of. There are some questions you need to ask. You may see a woman or a man and you may think they look so nice. The man may have money or a stable job. The woman may seem like she can be a good cook or whatever else like that. What I am trying to say is that before you get married, you have to look more than what you see on the outside. For an example, before you get married, I believe I said that you should ask questions. A question that you should probably ask is, what are your expectations in the marriage? Like, if I were to marry you, what do you expect? Do you expect um, that I should work and you not work, or we both work, or we should work these many hours? Uh, do you expect to have a very big house? Do you expect two or three cars? Do you expect, like, what type of lifestyle, what do you expect the marriage should be? And I think that is a very, very important question. Because... Let's use Jane and John as an example. John may want to work many hours a day. He may want to be very rich, while Jane may want her husband or her soon-to-be husband. She may, how can I say this? Jane may want her husband to stay at home and spend time with her. Maybe her focus is not really to get rich. She may want five children and John may only want one. Things like this need to be spoken about because if one person is expect, if one person is expecting this and that, but another person is expecting something different, I think that is going to cause problems, which I believe in marriage. Uh, I believe there are many problems, but at the least, like try to be with someone with similar plans as you. Does that make any sense? Before you get married, this may seem very sad to say, but you can't really trust everything the other person is saying. For an example, if you say you want to marry me, or or let's say I really, really want to marry you. And let's say that before you marry me, you ask me questions. And I can lie and say that, not saying that I would do this, but a person can lie and say that um, I will do this, and I will do that, and I will do this. So a person can lie, 
to get you to marry them. This may be very bad to say. I believe it is very wise. Before you get married, to go to a lawyer and sign documents saying that what you will do or want or won't do in a marriage. I don't know the laws in different countries and stuff, but if you can do this, I think it is wise. Because I think in these days, people are very immoral. Also, I think people will or may try to take advantage of you. Like, I know we all aren't perfect, but at the same time, some people's words mean nothing. In honesty, some people are like predators. So if you see a very cute face or flashy clothes or things on the outward, don't be so quick to be attracted to it. To the point where you are willing to marry a person from what you see on the outside and not really look within. Before you get married, look for red flags. And you may say to me, Uncle Kev, what do you mean by red flags? First, let me say, I believe we all have issues. I believe we all have problems. But at the same time, some people have issues that are really big. And you may say, Uncle Kev, are you trying to tell me not to marry a person with really big problems? And that really depends. You know, if God leads you to a person with really big problems, who, who am I to say not to marry that person? But I believe there are many people who have really big issues that need time to heal. So if they jump into a marriage and not really heal, I believe it can cause chaos, especially if you are not really made to take a lot of pressure in that type of way, if that makes any sense to you. I believe there are normal problems. I can disagree with you. You can disagree with me. That's fine. We, we may argue a bit. That is fine. Well, it is not so good to argue often, but, you know, if an argument happens, you know, that may be uh, somewhat okay. But if you find a person where there are issues often, you may say, Uncle Kev, what do you mean by often? Okay. When you have an issue with a person or people, on the average, how does it go? What is said? What is done? Okay. Keep that in mind. So if anything goes outside of that boundary, really, or maybe should I say so much more than what is usual, then I think that is a huge red flag. For instance, there is an issue often. You can walk on eggshells, meaning like you are trying to be careful, you are trying to not offend a person, no matter what you try, that person starts like a 
argument or start something to where there is constant conflict. Let me say as well, I believe many people who behave in this way or similar to it, I believe the conflict comes within. It's from within. Perhaps there is something within them they need to change. I also find with some insecure people, they can be chaotic. Look out for these things before you get married. Just don't look at the pretty face or the round behind or how much money the man has or what type of car he drives. I believe your peace means so much more than a pretty face or a nice house or a nice car, right? Before you get married, make sure you monitor the person closely. As I stated before, I understand that we all have problems. But when you see unusual things, and if you see it more and more often, chances are you probably should leave that person alone. For instance, if I wanted to play a sport where I have to run very fast and I have to be kind of strong and I have to be able to twist my body this way and that way, I probably, as I am now, I would not be fit for that activity. Why? Because I am not ready. First, I probably have to um, practice running, lift weights, jog and do all that stuff there. Then maybe then I am ready. Likewise, some people are not ready for marriage. Maybe they have a lying problem or a hating problem or an anger problem or an insecurity problem or a whatever type of problem. Perhaps they need to heal first before they marry. And I don't think there is anything wrong with saying that. Why enter into something, in a sense, when you are not really ready? In, in the sense I am speaking of. For instance, if, if you went to a very traumatizing place, to where they did very, very bad things to you. And let's say that, okay, let's say you were there for 10 years. Now you are full of fear, full of anger, full of hate. Would you really be ready for marriage a week later? or a day later, or maybe a year later, chances are probably not. It is not that you are such a, like your value as a human, it is not that your value as a human is very low, no. Your mental state, your emotional state, chances are, it is not up to where it should be when it comes down to marriage. Now, I can be wrong about all of this, but if you are hurting inside, okay, and you enter into something with another person as marriage, if you have a lot of hurt within, 
what do you believe is going to happen? I believe you are going to spread that hurt to that other person. I think in some cases, it may not be you want to hurt the other person, but how can you not hurt the other person when you are not really right inside? Chances are a person like that will emotionally abuse the other person, right? I know you may want the wedding. I know you may want to wear the tux or the white dress. I know you may want the the flowers and the attention and the kind words and the cake and stuff like that. You can probably still have those things, but you need to heal first. I understand. Hurt people want to be loved, of course. But at the same time, are you able to love properly? Are you able to behave properly? Are you able to think more than just about yourself? Are you always on the defensive? ready for someone to do you wrong so you can give it right back is your perception right do you have a victim mentality these are some things you need to be concerned about before you get married before you get married and i kind of touched on this subject but before you get married, ask about the expectation of money making. Like, how much money do you want the marriage to make a year? If that makes any sense. Like, between the husband and the man, how much money do you expect to receive with both people is it fifty thousand a year is it one hundred thousand a year what type of house do you want to live in listen it is best to ask the question to ask these questions and more to see what you and the other person really thinks it is best to be honest be honest be honest about it hey john i don't like this i don't like that jane i disagree with this i disagree with that that is okay but when the questions are asked be honest don't lie because you want to be married so badly then once you are married you push to have your way and make the marriage bad why would you even do that if you don't want to accept something tell it straight for example, this is another thing I want to mention before you marry. And if you are the man, the man or the woman, ask, what type of clothes do you want to wear? And you may say to me, Uncle Kev, what do you mean by that? Okay. Do you want to wear tight clothes? Do you want to wear clothes that are very short, that reveal parts of the body? Do you want to wear bikinis? Do you want to have your shirt off and show your pecs and your abs and stuff like that? Or do you want to wear modest clothing? Clothing that covers your body some people may call it 
old people's clothing, which is kind of strange to say that. If you are a man and you don't want your future wife to wear tight and short clothing, tell that woman that. If you are a woman and you don't want your man to wear revealing clothing, tell that man that. Don't say to the woman, I don't care what you wear, when you know you don't want her to wear clothing that exposes or reveals her body in a bad way. Don't agree to it. Hey, I love you, I care about you, but before I marry you, you can't wear these type of clothing. Like, I don't want you to show your body to people outside. And if you are the woman, you can disagree. You can say, I understand you, but I like <laughs> wearing clothing where people see my behind. You can disagree with the man. You can disagree with the woman, but speak about it. Before you get married, speak about it and be honest. Stop lying. I believe the more you lie, the more unhappy you are going to be in the marriage. What if you want to wear short and tight clothing, but you agreed to not to? Now you are very unhappy wearing clothes up to your neck or up to your whatever, you are unhappy now. Why didn't you tell the truth in the beginning? Are you understanding me? Yes, that man has a nice car. He makes $100,000 a year, but you are unhappy because you were not honest. Or, you going against what is agreed, now there is chaos. Yes, the woman looks very nice. She looks very young. But you are unhappy because you did not speak your mind in the beginning. You agreed to things that you did not want. You know, what's the point to that, man? You may like a woman or a man from the outside. You may like what you see. But after a while, I believe you are going to care less about what you see and care more about personality, communication, how things are going between the two of you. I believe this is what you are going to care about. Okay, before you get married, look in the Bible about what it says about marriage. There are roles that the man and the woman have to play in the marriage. As the husband, you are pretty much commanded, you are commanded to respect your wife. You are commanded to love your wife. You have to treat her right. As the woman, and some people don't like to hear this, I guess, but the woman is commanded to submit to the husband. I believe the Bible says the husband is the head of the wife. Many women of today may not like that. You know, many women may love their independence. If that is the case, talk about it like, hey, I don't want you to be the head of me. In that case there, stay unmarried. 
why join something that you want to be successful but you don't want to follow the rules you should speak about these things if you don't like respecting women <laughs> don't get married if you like calling women the b word and you like to do very improper things concerning them don't get married why waste the other person's time when you don't really want to do right expecting things to go your own wrong way and believing that doing it the wrong way will somehow turn out right when does doing something the wrong way turn out right when let me continue to do what is evil so it can turn out good makes no sense overall what i am saying before you get married ask questions honestly uh you should probably go to a pastor a good pastor that teaches the right way of the bible and be counseled on marriage first. Also, which I don't think many people will do this, if you know you have an issue that is going to cause conflict with another person, tell that person, I know you care about me and stuff like that, but I have this issue here. And because of this issue, you know, I may yell at you for no reason. I may cuss at you. I may um, be very violent. I may do all these weird things. So I am telling you this before we get married. That would be a blessing. What I don't understand, like trying to build a foundation upon lies like you lied to this woman or you lied to this man over and over and over again but somehow inside of your mind somehow it is going to turn out good with active lying you really need to be cautious before you get married look for more than just the money more than good looks more than this and that if a person seems to be very very attention seeking in some cases that may be a red flag that may be a very very big problem like overly attention seeking but anyways let me stop here may god bless us